Hi everyone, my name is Nicola Colton and I'm the illustrator and author of the Jasper and Scruff series. The series follows the unlikely friendship between Jasper, a dapper cat, and Scruff, a messy and mischievous puppy, and together they have lots of adventures. So in the third book, Take a Bow, Jasper and Scruff enter a talent competition and they perform a magic trick. So I thought it would be really fun to show you how to draw Scruff and he's going to be wearing his top hat and cape and performing a magic trick. So if you'd like to get your pencils and paper ready, we can get started. So to draw Scruff, we start with two round circles for eyes. One and two. And same in the centre for his pupils. One and two. And you can fill those in. Next for his nose, we do a roundy triangle shape. So we do a line across all the way around and then a little cherry for his nose. Next for his mouth we do two lines, a rectangle shape and then a round floppy sock shape for his tongue. So all the way around and then up in a floppy sock shape and then a line down the middle for his tongue. So we can fill in that rectangle there for his mouth. Next we'll do his ears, so we do two lines and then some wiggly M's and then his other ear, two lines and some wiggly M's and for his fur in the middle, some more wiggly M's. For the side of his head, wiggly M's again and he's going to need his top hat to perform his magic tricks. So we do a roundy kind of sausage shape all the way behind his fur. Then a rectangle. Some wiggly lines on one side and the other. And they can meet in the middle to finish his top hat. Next to do his cape, we do a line across. We do a dot for the beginning of his bow and then one roundy loop shape for one side another roundy loop shape for the other side. So there we've got his bow in the middle. For one side of his cape we do a roundy rectangle shape. So a line down, across, all the way up. Another funny rectangle shape. Line down, across and all the way up. Next he's going to need his body so we do some more wiggly M's. So have fun doing some scribbly bits there in the middle. And he's going to need his arms and legs to do his magic trick isn't he? So they're really easy to draw. So you start with a stick. So it's a curved stick because he's going to be waving. And then some more little sticks for his paw. The same on the other side. A stick this time we are going to draw a rectangle for his wand, a long thin rectangle for his magic wand. A line at the top to show the top of it, a little line at the bottom to show the bottom of his magic wand. And he's going to be holding it so we need to do some little sticks for his paw. Next he's going to need some legs isn't he? So same again, one stick, two sticks and then some little sticks for his paws, his rear paws. Okay so we're going to need some magic coming out of his wand aren't we? So we can draw some stars so you can do them freehand like this. Or an easy trick to draw a star is to do two triangles one on top of the other. So a triangle the right way up and then over the top an upside down triangle. And there you have a star. So to finish off his fur you can do some scribbles because he's a scribbly, messy, furry, scruffy dog. So you can have fun with that. Just do loads of little scribbly bits. And there you have Scruff the Magician. Ta-da!